Hey, what is up guys? So a few of you have asked me to review my H&R lowering springs after one year with the stock BMW shocks. And so um, they've actually held up a lot better than I thought they would. You know, when I first uploaded that video, people said, hey, you need to be careful because um, with the stock shocks, they'll probably blow out after a couple months. And um, that was over a year ago and they're still fine. Um, there's no popping or anything like that. Um, but I have noticed a, a few changes over the past year. Uh, when I first installed the springs on the car, um, you can still see the tread on the top of the back tire, but now uh, the suspension has settled to the point where the back wheels are pretty much tucked in, uh, which I think looks pretty cool actually, but it's probably a sign that those shocks in the back are going bad, uh, the fact that it's sitting that low, but I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on them. Another thing that I've noticed is that uh, recently when I hit a bump or a pothole, um, the springs absorb that initial shock, but then the car kind of bounces a little bit afterwards. So that's probably another sign that the shocks are on their way out. So I am keeping an eye on that. Um, I am moving out next month. So unfortunately, car parts aren't um, priority number one right now, but it is something that's on my list of things to buy eventually. But yeah, for right now, the stock shocks are still okay with these H&R Sport springs. So just for daily driving, I'm pretty much just driving back and forth to work and my commute is like three miles straight in one direction, then I turn left and drive another three miles straight. So I'm not really pushing the suspension to its limit or not even anywhere close to that on my daily commute. So maybe that's just why I'm not really noticing these things that much, but I'm sure that if I was, you know, thrashing on the car every day, I might um, be more aware of how the suspension has changed over time. But for me, this car is just really a daily driver, just a kind of a point A to point B kind of car. And I really got this, uh, these H&R Springs just for looks. I'm not going to the track or anything crazy like that. I really just wanted to lower my car without um, sacrificing too much of the ride quality. And I think that these springs have achieved exactly what I wanted as far as uh, looks, but still being pretty comfortable to drive on a daily driver. So as you could hear, you know, going over these bumps and potholes, it does, it is quite a bit stiffer than the stock springs that came on the car. Um, there have actually been a few times where you almost feel it in your spine. There have been a couple times where I've actually pulled over after hitting a bump to kind of inspect things and make sure that um, nothing is broken. Just because it's like the impact can be so harsh on these Michigan roads, but for the most part, they've held up just fine. All right, so I just turned onto one of the crappier roads in the area. We're at around 18 Mile in Garfield. And uh, this road, they really need to fix all these roads, but this one kind of gets neglected for whatever reason. But hopefully this picks up some of the noise from um, the bumps that we're about to go over in a minute here. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that that answered some of your questions about how these H&R springs have been with the stock BMW shocks. Um, if you have any more suggestions for the um, what shocks I should get, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, like I said, it probably won't be a while until I get those, so hopefully these stock ones hold up until then. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right guys, one last thing. I wanna give a quick shout out to my friend Taylor. He's been featured on my channel a couple times with his Subaru WRX. And we go back all the way to high school. We were making videos together before YouTube was even a thing. And unfortunately he had to move out of state for work, but we've kept in touch. And he just recently started his own YouTube channel. So I'm gonna leave um, all of his information down in the description if you wanna check that out. Um, if you like my chill, relaxed style of videos, you'll feel right at home on his channel. So again, if you wanna check him out, I'll leave his stuff in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 production.